So, I got a request from my buddy, Caden Stanford, and he want me, he requested to see a video of this, uh, this remanufactured model. Um, I had, and the reason why, this, this came up off of eBay. Now, the reason why I bought this remanufactured model, because somewhere in the 2000s, probably 2004, 2005, um, I had a model like this. And that was from the vacuum shop because we had a, uh, I think it was a Hoover U6445-900. It was a Mach 6.9 model. It was a premium. It kept breaking on us a lot. And my grandfather kept taking the vacuum to the shop. I was probably like, let's see, four, five or six then. Uh, so they called up and said, okay, the vacuum is ready. So we went to the vac, and the shop we used to have, this is in Texas now, my grandfather's house is remodeled. We had a vacuum shop located <coughs> in Friendswood. So, um, if you guys don't know friends, some of you guys stay in Texas, some of you guys live in different states. But we had a, uh, a vacuum shop up in Friendswood, right next to Target. It was a shopping center down there. Anyway, they called us up saying, letting us know that the vacuum was ready. And our vacuum was a different, our model, it was manufactured, but it was not like this. It was not this kind of color. Um, I think it was black. It's been so long. I think it was black. It's just that these remanufactured model is based off of different models, like Ultra, Premium, or whatever model it is. It's just that they just take this badge right here, this coat, this right here, and just throw it on. Um, a history about this. I bought this off of eBay last month. The seller was parting this machine out because something was wrong with this vacuum. The motor was running good because, you know, they got good motors in them. Um, but I was asking them for the, uh, the wire harness in the motor. And so they couldn't figure out, how, the, the person couldn't figure out how to break it down. So I repaired these. So she sold me the vacuum instead, the whole entire machine. So I said, that's, I said, that's a bet, bet, bet. I'll say, okay, yeah, I'll pay for it. Boom. Had it since last month, a month ago. I noticed something about this machine that you guys know the use, you guys know different, the difference, like a lot of premium models that they made in the 90s throughout the 2000s. Um, what, how I know this was a premium model? First off, because the U6471 color is just like this. It was not remanufactured, but it was like this. This actual color. I guess it's like a harbor blue metallic. They got different metallic colors out there. Beautiful. That's what I miss about the real Hoovers. Um, they have a color hood like this in the door panel. And plus, they have a dirt finder. And also, the Isler arm has one, like, one. You can, the black and the red, kind of like the sticker. You can totally see the different colors. It's kind of like split like uh when you say when you see when it says automatic brush on and off they have that kind they have the actual eye arm that's from the premium models like you will see on the actual model um i said so yeah this has got to be based off of a u6471 900 it's just that it's not called premium it's not a called premium not like an actual premium model model it's just that they just do this badge on and they just throw that, that on. I said, okay. Um, so, no dirt finder on here. So, this is the U6401-9RM. This was made, This was manufactured in September of 2004. So, I was five at, at the time. And as you know, the Hoover was a Hoover then. I was five at the time. Um, so the updates will be, you need some new attachments. I'm not going to worry about new attachments because that's going to come later. I am, what I'm going to do is, you guys saw this in the uh, in my early video when we was doing the Hoover battle. This one's going to get a dirt finder and not because to make it a different model. No, because this was based off of a premium model. It just they didn't rename it as a remanufacturer. So most likely... Um, this one's gonna get a dirt finder. Now, some of the remanufacturers have these models will have no dirt finder. Some of them do. 
depends on what model is a dirt finder that was based off of like an ultra so the ultra like the u6432 is a great color the u6439 is a great color so if it was like a u6439 they probably would change that and just probably remanufacture that into like a remanufacturing model so i really don't know how they done it because i was not around them when they made this but i think i know what i'm trying to say though uh anyway but yeah vacuum's all in good condition it was dirty when i got it, it was all dirty uh bag was filled up no it didn't have a bag in it i was wrong take that back it didn't have a bag and it. it was dirty it was filthy what i do is when i get used machines different models like these where i repair them i always do a strip down and give them a bath to make them clean uh, so like I said, Caden Sanford wanted me to, uh, one, re he requested me to, uh, see this machine. So I'm finally getting around to it because before then that tur the twin chamber model you saw in my video earlier, that was the first one I wanted to get around to. And I finally got around to doing it cause I've been putting it off, putting it off. But finally today I got around to doing it cause you know, it's been so long since I've been making vacuum videos and stuff like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate it. Um, I will demonstrate this machine. <clears throat> now, what I was saying in my video earlier about how the motors are. How motors are. Okay, so when it comes down to these, like I was saying, throughout the 2000s, so first off, these are the later models. These these are the later. Because when I say later, these came out probably like in the beginning or somewhere in the middle of the, the like a month. Like um, the uh, U6432 was manufactured somewhere in, in like in later in the later month of November. But I don't know what date. But it was made, it was manufactured in November of 2001. So 2001, yes, they came out with the uh, turbo brush. The turbo brush. Um, but like the the earlier, and the earlier, we're talking about 90, in the 90s, like 98, 99. They uh, made the, like, the green models, like, we came out with, like, Ultra, U6425, 900. 920 is a newer model. Is a newer series because they came out later also as well. Um, but I ain't going to get into all the differences and stuff like that. But, uh, well, I'm not going to get into the details of the differences. But when it comes down with the 90s models, the difference is, is it's not only the motors. It's the, the uh, what's it called? Almost said it. Almost said it. Almost called it. The wiring, the gauge and the wiring, they were 16 gauge in the 90s, in the, like 98, 99. But when 2000s came in the later year, it's when, because when the switches went bad in these, that's when they went to, you know, upgrade the wiring to a 14 gauge. And they did a revision of the motor. So that's what made them totally complete different. But the similarity is they all clean the same. So that's similarity. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and um, demonstrate this vacuum, this model, and uh, I will make another uh, re-update, make an uh, update about this machine. So next month is when I'm gonna uh, get a circuit board, pay for all that. I just have the uh, the actual hose duct. That's another reason. The one with the mop with no lights on it is gonna have the hose duct in the back of it. They're not gonna have that wire harness to it. But some of them, because they're different part numbers. So that's another one that makes them different. But the one that has the blue, that wire harness, that attached to the circuit board, I do have that, but I need more of those. So, like I said, most likely, uh, I'm not gonna read, I'm not gonna make another vacuum in the video of this until I actually get the circuit board. And I gotta get a wire harness along with it. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it so you can know, cause you already know what it sounds like, but <clears throat> you never, you guys never actually saw a review of this particular machine, this particular model. 
So, all right, here we go. Also, far in the video, we're going to roll this up. What I did with this machine also, what I did with this vacuum also, now I didn't do all this at once of that month, but I did sometimes of this month. 